Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we are on a journey together of studying the Bible one chapter at a time. I'm writing a short devotional thought on every chapter of the Bible that I'm sharing that with you. Today we're looking at Numbers chapter 25. What happens when you throw a small stone into a lake? It's called a ripple effect. One of the things that makes Balaam's story confusing is that Numbers 22, 23, and 24 tells the story of a man who heard from God and faithfully refused to curse Israel as he was hired to do, but the ripple effect of his influence was a plague of judgment. Even though Balaam's name is not mentioned in Numbers chapter 25, the impact of his story ripples into the Israelite community as described in Numbers 25 verses 1 to 3. When Israel remained at Shittim, the people began to play the harlot with the daughters of Moab, for they invited the people to the sacrifices of their gods, and the people ate and bowed down to their gods. So Israel joined themselves to Baal of Peor, and the Lord was angry against Israel. You can compare this with Psalms 106, verse 28 to 31. Israel was seduced to become unequally yoked with a foreign people and their God. This heavy burden crushed them as God's wrath turned against them in a righteous judgment of their false worship. And God's judgment came in the form of a plague that killed 24,000 Israelites. How do we know this was a ripple effect of Balaam's influence? Numbers chapter 31 verse 16 explains, Behold, these caused the sons of Israel through the counsel of Balaam to trespass against the Lord in the matter of Peor. So the plague was among the congregation of the Lord. Furthermore, Jesus himself used Balaam's name as a condemnation against the church of Pergamum in Revelation chapter 2 verse 14. But I have a few things against you because you have there some who hold the teaching of Balaam, who kept teaching Balak to put a stumbling block before the sons of Israel, to eat things sacrificed to idols, and to commit acts of immorality. Seize the moment and leave a lasting impact on people's faith and faithfulness through the choices you make today. Seize the moment.